Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, it's Craig Mott from Bluefish444, and we have another video case study today with our customer in Serbia. His name is Juros Vasilovic, and Juros is the AV manager at ProSound. Good morning, Juros. How are you there? Well, it's a bit cold outside, but fortunately I'm inside, so it's a bit more tolerable. Can you tell us a little bit about ProSound? ProSound is uh, situated uh, in Belgrade, which is the capital of Serbia, and we are in the heart of the city, uh, which gives us uh, good access to all the venues and hotels where, where we used to work before the pandemic. Uh, since we are there, our work before the pandemic included uh, mostly conferences and uh, corporate events. We did do uh, a bit of live streaming, but as you can imagine, it wasn't such a, such a big demand for live streaming as it is now, of course. We were mainly specialized in uh, simultaneous interpretation for, for conferences, uh, and we were uh, among the leaders in the country, if not the leader. But since everything is changed now, we are focusing on live streaming and uh, online events and hybrid events, of course, uh, whenever it is possible. Uh, Can you talk a bit about what was the strategy behind building your Bluefish turnkey and how were you using the products? How were you using our product with Resolume and VMix? We needed a solution that was uh, customizable. So uh, we did consider uh, bar processors and stuff like that for events. One, one of the first dec decisions that we made was to uh, have Bluefish cards in the, in the workstation. Uh, so I want to get into much detail like uh, graphics card uh, and so on but of course it was uh, quadro nvidia quadro uh, because of uh, synchronization on outputs uh, xeon processors because of the capacity and and so on but uh, among other among other things we saw a recommendation for hp workstations on on your website so we needed a solution that could uh, support all that uh, different kinds of workloads uh, uh, workflows so uh, Resolume is, uh, and, and VMix also is pretty standard in, at least in our market for, for these kind of, kinds of live events. So we also wanted the possibility to work with the stuff that we already knew how, how it worked and that didn't have a, like a steep learning curve or, or stuff like that. When it came to integration uh, of all those uh, things together, it, played out well. We, we needed a Resolume uh, for all kinds of uh, output mapping, including LED screens, uh, projector mapping. I'm, I mean, all of that can be solved in other ways. But as I said, this was a solution that we knew worked and we knew how it worked. So, so uh, yeah, Eros, would you be able to give us a, an overview and maybe some examples of some of the workflows that you would have um, employed uh, pre-pandemic so with the sti ingest and the and the live events i will try to divide this into two events that i remember uh, one of them uh, didn't include uh, a lot of output mapping so we used the uh, vmix for that uh, for that occasion uh, but it didn't include uh, all kinds of uh, input and output routing. We had uh, three cameras on site, that, on site that were recording the conference. We recorded only the mix from the output, but we also had a lot of uh, TVs around the venue, which all had uh, uh, different signal mixes in different times that were sometimes overlapping. I hope you can understand where mm -hmm. I'm going with, going with this. Uh, so we used vMix and its routing capabilities uh, along with Bluefish card to ingest uh, the signals that we were recording, also some PowerPoint presentations and video uh, video materials from the Playout PC, and also to route uh, uh, to the TVs using the Bluefish. So we had the uh, availability of the SDI lengths uh, against the HDMI signals and stuff like that uh, for getting from the cameras to the workstation and also from the workstation to the TVs that were, that were scattered all around the venue. Uh, so that's one of the occasions. Uh, uh, the other, which is uh, the biggest guest company in Serbia, we had like a New Year event where we uh, 
put together a LED screen of uh, something like 20 meters wide and two and a half meters tall, which had uh, some animations as uh, as the background. And uh, then uh, we uh, we put all kinds of uh, different signals uh, on top of that, like picture in picture. So that's the workflow that that we used mostly. That's when we use Resolume. So we, we have uh, like uh, background animations or graphics or stuff like that. And we use uh, Bluefish to put either uh, camera signals on top of that or PowerPoint presentations to do to do all kinds of picture in picture compositions. And obviously during the evaluation and the configuration of those systems and setting up some of those workflows, was there anything specific about the um the kind of things that you required from the SDI input? Since we were uh, doing live events, and uh, as I said, we uh, we often uh, put uh, live camera feeds uh, on the on the LED wall that is behind the speakers and stuff like that. We need to have the lowest latency possible. I mean, we all know that there's no possibility to have zero latency. But we, with uh, Bluefish, we had uh, very good results. There was some other hardware in that chain that put much more latency in in the in the final output if you can imagine uh, as i said we use some picture in picture compositions so if i put the same camera feed uh, through bluefish on one side of the composition and from the uh, other other capture solution to the other which is usually something like usb for the for the uh, more portable solutions and stuff like that uh, there, there's uh, obvious difference in the video quality, you know, like uh, color space, uh, sharpness, uh, compression mm. also. During the pandemic, uh, for the events that you have been able to cover or the, the, the um, where you are able to deploy and do different services, uh, can you describe in a similar way to, to what you've just done for, for that type of workflow? Obviously, we, ho we don't have uh, so much requirements for... Uh, output mapping since there's uh, usually no audience nowadays but yeah. uh, there are similar uh, requirements uh, in in live streaming because we also use all kind all kinds of compositions or uh, picture in picture compositions if you would like uh, you can imagine so if uh, if we have uh, i don't know a few panelists or speakers or moderator on one location where we uh, capture him with a camera and someone else is on zoom and uh, they have some presentation or video ma material or anything else that they talk about we have to ingest all of these signals into into the software so we can arrange it into the composition so that's how we use uh, bluefish for now in this situation so it's mostly vmix and obs uh, in these in these circumstances because of their uh, their streaming capabilities and composition and uh, scenes uh, capabilities whereas resolume unfortunately doesn't have uh, some of those options that we need now in these situations but we uh, sometimes even use uh, the workstation as the only uh, only pc in the in the venue for for the live stream so we for example i have a uh, one channel of the capture of the bluefish card uh, uh, set for camera for zoom uh, then we go uh, through software to get the 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 signal from zoom into the vmix and uh, all the other presentations also into vmix or obs and so yeah we often use uh, only only that workstation for the for the live stream i think we talked a little bit about prosound looking at um uh, researching into more portable solutions for uh, use of the Bluefish uh, cards and maybe providing services for smaller smaller events or uh, events where you can't transport such uh, bigger infrastructure. Yeah. The Thunderbolt seems to have much less restrictions and uh, much bigger uh, data rate for now, at least than USB. So that that seems to be the the best solution for us. Yeah, we're looking into that. Uh, we're we're uh, thinking thinking about uh, enclosure enclosures that could uh, support Bluefish cards. So we could uh, either purchase more or uh, get the the ones that we already have into the enclosure and use it as the multi-channel uh, ingest solution for the for the laptop.
if I remember cor correctly, uh, uh, you have uh, uh, specific manufacturers and specific models of those manufacturers and uh, some other data pretty, pretty uh, clear, uh, like uh, Thunderbolt uh, generation, uh, data rate speed and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it helped a lot. Uh, the same way that, that the decision uh, for the cards was made, uh, it, it helped. It helped us the the same way. Has our support level met your expectation in that time over the last two and a half years when when you've needed help? I would say that uh, the, the the feedback uh, surpassed our expect expectations because, it, it, I mean. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm sure you know, but in live industry, it you always need help, and you need it uh, like five minutes before. So when things go wrong at live event, there's no time, unfortunately, to do anything at that time. But uh, yeah, every time we had any doubt or or reconsideration or any questions, uh, we absolutely get an answer in no time from you. So thank okay. you for that. We have. Another customer in the live events industry, also in Europe, who is using his Ingestor workstation during the streaming of a live event to take a second lot of SDI feeds and create an edited highlights package of the event for social media during the event. And he's able to do that because we can start, we can allow the editors to start editing the file as it's been captured in our ingestor product and our workflow. Can you see an opportunity for that edited highlights package during a live stream? Yeah, of course, uh, since live streaming is uh, mostly done uh, to, to, to the most popular uh, social media like uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch and stuff like that. Of course, I think that uh, the clients could use uh, such, a, such a, a capability of the system. And I mm. think uh, it could be used also for uh, uh, for live mixing the the event uh, that that we can uh, get the, uh, all the cameras, uh, for example, recorded and also uh, live edited as the as the event is going on. So we can both uh, have the the clear uh, the raw raw signals and also the the final mix. You could edit some material and then replay it at the event so that you're exactly. actually using it in a very short turnaround. And that's, that's really the ingestor exactly. kind of advantage with growing files is the, the ability to turn the material around in a very short time frame. Yeah, and it's a great, I think it's a great, uh, great possibility and uh, 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 what would I say, a feature that, that should be used, uh, used more, more often.